V equals F times lambda, induction or wave, to calculate frequency and wavelength by kscience.com. This is the problem you will learn how to solve. Press pause to attempt it. The method and the answer will follow. This duck is floating on the peak of a wave. And there are four complete wavelengths separating this bird and another bird which is floating on another peak of another wave. The frequency of the wave is 4 hertz. The wave speed is 2 meters per second. So we know what V is, 2 meters per second. We know what F is, which is 4 hertz. But what is the wavelength lambda? So as you can see, we've got four wavelengths. 1, 2, 3, and 4. Four wavelengths. 1, 2, 3, and 4. We are working out the distance the two ducks are apart. We are not working out how far ducks are traveling on waves because they do not travel on waves. So before we work out the distance the two ducks are apart, we must work out the wavelength of one wave. So we've got the equation V equals F times lambda, where lambda is the wavelength. We want to make wavelength the subject, so we rearrange the equation for wavelength. We've now got wavelength equals wave speed divided by frequency of the wave. So we've got lambda equals V over F. So lambda equals V, which is 2 meters per second, as you can see here, divided by the frequency, which is 4 hertz. So you'll do wavelength equals 2 meters per second divided by 4 hertz. That gives you an answer of 0 0.5 meters. So the wavelength is 0 0.5 meters. Because there are four wavelengths, each of them 0 0.5 meters, we are not working out how far ducks are traveling on waves, and then work out the total distance the two ducks are apart. So the total distance the two ducks are apart is 0 0.5 times by 4. So it's going to be one wavelength times by the number of wavelengths between the two ducks. Because there are four wavelengths, each of them 0 0.5 meters, so that will mean the total distance is going to be 2 meters. 2 meters. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. Press pause to practice using those key words. The answers will follow. Press pause to go through your answers and make any corrections to your mistakes. Press pause to answer the questions. The answers will follow. Press pause to go through your answers and make any corrections to your mistakes. This is the problem you will learn how to solve. Press pause to attempt it. The method and the answer will follow. So we're trying to calculate the wavelength. So we've got the frequency and the speed, so that means we need the equation V equals F times lambda. So you write that down. So now you underline what you're trying to calculate. In this case, it is wavelength. So then you go back to your equation, and then you circle lambda, because that is what we're trying to work out. You then need to rearrange the equation, so lambda is the subject. So lambda equals V divided by F. Now you can substitute in the numbers for this correct equation. It's going to be V is 3 times 10 to the power of 8 meters per second. F, the frequency, is 2 times 10 to the power of 6 hertz. You then divide V by F, which will give you an answer of 150 meters for the wavelength of this wave. So you write V equals F lambda. In this question, we're calculating the frequency. Circle the F and then rearrange the equation to make f the subject. So you've now got f equals v divided by lambda. So now you just substitute in the correct numbers. The frequency equals the speed of the wave, which is 3 times 10 to the power of 8 meters per second, 
3 times 10 to the power of 8 meters per second divided by the wavelength, which in this case is 4 times 10 to the power of minus 7 meters. 4 times 10 to the power of minus 7 meters. That will give you a frequency of 7.5 times 10 to the power of 14 hertz. So your frequency is going to be 7.5 times 10 to the power of 14 hertz. Press pause to answer the questions. The answers will follow. And if you're stuck, just rewatch the video. Press pause to go through your answers and make any corrections to your mistakes. Visit kscience.com for more free videos, worksheets and quizzes at kscience.com. And don't forget to like and subscribe.